Welcome back to your tribe. Um, today, Justin and I are celebrating our 12th anniversary. Um, we have left the children at home with our best friends and we are hoping that they are surviving with the four kids that we have, we own, and we decided to come out for sushi. And so we are enjoying our time so far. We've ordered, we've got some scallion pancakes over here. We've got some chicken wings. We've got multiple different kinds of rolls we've never tried before. And then we've got some Coke and some, what is it, support? Is that what it's called? So we're about to dig in in a few minutes. We are really excited that we got this time together because we don't always get to do this. We haven't probably been out in how long? Like months. It's been months since we've actually had time together. And so we're really excited about doing it. So we'll click in later when we start trying these sushis because this will be the first time we're trying them. So y'all can see what they like. And where are we at again? I forget where we're at. Um, tatami. Tatami. Tatumi. In, in somewhere in East Park? Bridgewater. Clearly, I don't know where I am in East Bridgewater. So, when we come back, we'll show you what's going on with the sushi. Okay. Justin, what was that? This is the Route 18. Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Delicious crab with that nice avocado. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So far, the chicken wings are really good. The scallop pancakes are really, really good. Mm -hmm. Spirit of the Lord is here. I can't. Justin, are you going to leave any for your wife? <laughs> Happy <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, baby, you gonna have to get your own. Mm -hmm. you gotta be quicker than that. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, crab. I see you. I'm gonna try the one Justin's been eating. I'm not very good at chopsticks, folks. Look. Yeah. This is pretty bad. You like a chopsticks dyslexic. <laughs> oh. It's a little fishy. Like first bite. Fishy? I don't know. Yeah. It's a little spicy. Cause look, look at what it has in it. It's delicious. It's not bad. I don't even think you need to dip it anywhere. It's already got the spice and the salt. Yep. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Not bad. Like Not bad at all. How do we even attack this? I don't know. Well, that's the volcano, y'all. I want to try the volcano. Mm. Oh. Go in, go in. Don't be scared. All right, I'm gonna try this without dipping it, although I want to, just a little bit. All right, here we go. This is really good. Yeah. Really good. This is delicious. Just ain't getting in this one. But it's warm. We don't normally do warm sushi. Mm. You already messed up your shirt. How <laughs> the usual. Every year, guys, every time we go out, she gotta mess up her clothes. That means the food is good when I mess up my clothes. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Isn't that really good? Mm -hmm. The crab is like really sweet. The crab is like really sweet. Still my favorite so far. Really? 
No, I would I would choose this one over this one. So far, I've got to try this one. Ready? I want to try it at the same time. Oh God, help me with these chopsticks. It's really good. Really good. Oh. You really like that one? This is the one I went back for again. I think this is the best one for me. But I gotta leave some for Justin, so. Oh look, the scallops. Mm. Oh, really good. All right, we're gonna move on to this one. No, what's in this one? Oh, this is a sweet potato one. All right. I'm not saying anything. Trying to get all the flavors in my mouth. That's done. So, when you start chewing it, you're tasting something sweet, you don't know what it is. And then you get like a smoky something. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah, the sweet potato. Tastes good. It's good. You gotta try it. Pinkies up, Chester. Shout out to Lady T Sensations. <laughs> At Burlington Coat Factory, just doing some shopping, looking at some tanks. Without the kids. Without the kids. They're not asking us for stuff. Can yes. I have that? Can I have that? No strollers, no carts. No, nope. It's a whole different world. It's free. You're not going to say nothing. I thought you were going to talk. Okay. What's up, y'all? We have finally well we've been home for a little bit because our babysitters are gone Christian is sick so it's not until these two hours and we are hanging out by ourselves trying to finish up our date night although we have our partner in crime here yep but we had a really good time which was nice dinner was good it was dinner was so like it was delicious like i really enjoyed that we went to the mall by ourselves and walked around which we haven't done yet years like for all those who are like moms parents who you know you've been married and you have kids and you end up you know just being and not taking time for yourself it's so important to do that because you just lose sight and lose touch and it was nice to do that especially for our 12 years i can't believe we've been married for 12 years i know it's kind of crazy to think about that's really crazy 12 years it's not 12 it is 12, babe. Yeah. 2007. 19, 19, oh, okay. It's 12. 12. Do your math. 12. It's 12 years, y'all. Yeah. So it was really nice to be able to. 12 years of marriage. <laughs> of nuptials. Trust me, it wasn't easy with this man. Mm-mm. No, definitely. I don't make it easy. Not at all. No. Nope. At least the toilet seat up, y'all. That's what he does. Listen. 
if you have a problem with the toilet seat still by now, you better just give up on the next 12. Because I'm not changing. Microwave? Why can't you close the microwave? I, I just, I really don't understand why the man can't close the microwave. But, you know, whatever. I can't be perfect, y'all. She needs something to, to hope for. Everybody needs hope. What? It's just something you should hope for. Closing the microwave? Yeah. Seriously? Yep. I don't like closing the microwave thing. It's just, why? I'm ready to eat. One set. There's no, I can't take that time. He's I gotta so greedy. He I go in and I'm microwave. ready to eat. So I'm not going to wait. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Ridiculous. I'm ready to eat. Anyway, we were really happy that Christian was able to um, stay with our friends because he is nursing all the time. He's also not feeling 100%. So I was scared that he wasn't going to make it. So we didn't even get to go to the movies, but we no. still enjoyed being together. Word. Which was nice. So we are basically chilling. Here. We got a pretzel. Well, we got a pretzel bucket. Check it out on Annie's. They got a bucket now. Oh, that, that experience at Aunt Annie's like nearly tipped me over the edge. Let me tell you. But, yeah. You know, but. I just, I just want to say, like, if you work at a food restaurant, you really shouldn't ask people if they speak your language and then start speaking to you, uh, speaking in their language when they know you don't speak it. Yeah, the it, language wasn't English, guys. It was really awkward, and obviously I can see you side-eyeing me, so please don't do that. It's yeah. just disrespectful. It was really It's cool to speak whatever language you want. Clearly. But when you're trying to communicate with people who don't speak that, it's just only courteous to... Right. Speak the language of your customer. Right. And then go back doing whatever you're doing. It's just, it's annoying. But on the positive note. Plus, you're talking too much. That's why the pretzels is dry. If you stop talking, I then you would just... hear the ding. And then you would take the pretzels out and butter them in time for them to be nice and soft for your customers. So, your mouth is making dry pretzels. Oh, and That's my observation. The and lemonade. watered down lemonade. Yeah, the lemonade wasn't sweet like Aunt Annie's. It was a little annoying. That was a little annoying. But anyway, I wanted to encourage all those people who are out there, since it is our anniversary, um, you know, that marriage definitely takes work. It's two parties that uh, have to come together to connect and to kind of get through all of your things that are different about you and really work through because I feel like that was something we're continuing to learn and we made 12 years which is like I can't even believe for those who like know us like how we got together is even crazy to 12 me, so. years strong so it's strong crazy. strong <laughs> four kids later <laughs> oh god I can't I would I, I would never think that we would have had four kids mm -mm. Never, never thought that at all. But anyway, yeah, we had a good time together and I enjoyed. And now it's time for us. Mm -hmm. The kids are asleep. Well, Christian's asleep. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, this is good night. I'm going to put her to bed. And we're going to see you guys in another video. All right? T-Tribe, you out there? Peace.